Salute to Knicks Nation, CP from Knicks Fan TV here with a quick, quick video just to give you guys the word that Marcus Morris has officially signed a one-year $15 million deal with the New York Knicks, backing out of a two-year $20 million deal with the Spurs. Where have you, on earth, have you heard that before where someone leaves the historic heralded Spurs franchise to come to the Knicks so much for dysfunction I guess some of you might say well there's five million reasons why he would do such a thing but still hey he could have stayed with the Spurs had a chance to compete the West is wide open the Spurs will certainly be competing in the West and he's coming to a, a upstart developing Nick team so give credit where credit is due Scott Perry Steve Mills were able to get this done Personally, I like this move. You know, we've been talking about it for, for a little bit now. I like this move. I think it gives us some much-needed depth on the front court. I know some of you guys were kind of upset that we added so many bigs, but I think, number one, we don't know how Mitch will hold up over a full 82 games, right? Will he maintain discipline from fouls? Will he stay healthy? Those are sort of the things that we have to be concerned with, and I still think we need to kind of bring Mitch along, yeah, to a next step, but not so fast where we're just injecting him in, into an 82-game starter. So I think Marcus gives us uh, another big on the front court who can play the four, he can play the three, you know, he, he, he'll sl slide some guys like Julius Randle to the five. You got Bobby Portis who can play the three, four, five. You got Todd Gibson who, who can play the five. So I like the rotation that we're bringing in here. We're getting tough. We're getting gritty. We're getting physical out there. And I like that this is another veteran that we can add that's going to help these young guys prepare every day in practice, toughen them up. As we see here, 14 points per game, six boards, 44% from... Field goal range, 37% from three. Season high, 31 points, four rebounds for Marcus Morris. So like I said, man, I like the deal. I, I think this is going to help us. And, and uh, hey, listen, at the very least, you know, when the trade deadline comes along, you may be able to flip him for some more assets. You may be able to slide somebody else out and keep him if he's helping us win. For some more assets. So again, we're in the asset accumulation phase. We're in the asset acquisition phase. I think this is another acquisition that's going to help us continue to build our war chest. And we'll see what happens. He's going to be able to help us win some games as well. So kudos to Scott Perry and Steve Mills for building this team in a way that, yes, we're going to continue to build through our youth. But we're going to fortify that youth with some savvy, high IQ players, some toughness, some physicality, and some grit. Now, the only question I have for you guys is, who's going to start? I saw some of you guys, I was talking to some of you guys last night and also on Twitter today. Some people want to start him at the four, bring Kevin Knox, I mean, start him at the three, bring Kevin Knox off at the bench. I don't think I would necessarily go that route. I think I'd rather bring him off the bench at the four. I like a second unit of Alfred Payton, Iso Zoe, either Iggy or Bullock, Marcus Morris, and maybe Bobby Portis or Gibson, depending on the matchup. I like that second unit a lot, actually, because I think it gives us a nice little, nice little balance of offense and defense. So let's see where it goes. In terms of Reggie Bullock, Ian Begley is confirming that the Knicks have a $4.8 million room exception available to negotiate with Bullock for this year. Remember, Bullock had originally agreed to a two-year $21 million deal with the Knicks, but because of uh, injuries or fitness, what have you, nothing has really been confirmed yet. It seems like they're going to rework that deal. And Bullock's agent was also complimentary of the Knicks during the whole negotiation phase, labeling them a class organization. So take that to the haters. So what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think about this Marcus Morris deal? Do you like the deal? Do you not like the deal? Do you want to start him? Do you want to bring him off the bench? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And remember,